Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to talk about a book that I read recently that is called A House at the Bottom of the Lake. No, A House at the Bo Bottom of a Lake by Josh Mullerman. I don't know much about this author. Apparently he also wrote Bird Box, uh, but I didn't know him until I got around this book. I got this tip by Books and Lala by Kayla. She, in a, I don't know if last year or even two years ago or even older, she talked about in her video about this book and for some reason it stuck in my mind and I don't know why I got the feeling to reading it so that's what I what I did and I talked a bit about this in my June wrap-up I think yeah where I talked about the books that I read and this was one of them and so I don't want to give you any spoilers but be aware that perhaps this review might have some spoilery things because this is a very short book i think i don't know i read it in ebook so i don't know um in a physical form how many pages it has but it didn't took me too long to finishing it Although I stopped reading for a few days, you know, I take pauses. You know me, so you know the drill. But this is a very quick read. And, oh, this is from 2016. Oh, and this came out on 31st of October. <laughs> nice. I didn't know that. I'm seeing on Goodreads. So I don't want this review to be too long either. So I'm, I'm going to try to be succinct. So this book begins with two teenagers like 17 meeting each other at the boy's father's shop. So his father has a, a shop of utensils um, and she, I think he is called James and she's, I don't remember her name, but details. And, and she was there buying some stuff for her house and he was helping her and he got the guts to ask her out. And so, they agree on the next day, I think, in the afternoon to go to his uncle's house because he has a canoe uh, and, you know, row on the lake in their town. And so they do that and they go, they bring uh, stuff for a picnic, more or less. And they bring their swimsuits and so on, you know. And they go on the lake and they see people on the beach. And, and they try to talk to each other, but they are a bit awkward with each other, you know, first date and so on. And they see a second lake, a bit smaller than the first one, and they go there. But when they are on the second lake, they approach like a tunnel and they didn't know about a third lake and when they realize it they like in telepathy they guess their each other's wishes and they are curious so they go through the tunnel and they scrap the canoe and such and they go to the third lake when they are there, of course, there is dialogue between these, 
that I'm telling you, so, you know. Um, and when, when they, they go there, uh, they are there for a bit and they are talking and so on and so forth. And I don't know which one of them sees the thing first. But some, uh, one of them calls the other attention to look down at the water and they realize that under them there is a roof, a roof of a house and they are astonished, they are surprised because, uh, you know, who would guess that a house would be at the bottom of a lake? <laughs> and so they kind of stop talking and they look at each other and they are like, they don't speak, they don't say that to each other, but they are thinking it, we have to go under. And so the boy goes first and he goes under and you know, it's a big house and it's with many windows and a front door and, you know, he, he, he can't be under water for too long because he um, got out of breath. But when he comes up, they agree to come back there the next day and explore more. So I have to say that this book is young adult. I didn't know that when I first start reading it, but I realized it will be something like that because the type of writing, the type of language is very accessible. And so I don't want to minimize it or don't give the worth that it has but you know the, the language is very simple the dialogues are really not that complex so your reading is going to be very quick and i read this in english and for those who are you know practice their english i think this is very accessible very easy to understand and so for a book for young adults or teenagers I think this book is very adequate for teenagers. Well, maybe not. <laughs> now that I'm remembering, remembering something, perhaps not teenagers, but yeah, young adults, I suppose, or like 16 up. So as I was saying, they come back there and they explore the house. They even got um, dive, diving, diving suits and diving equipment so they can be under water for longer. And they start passing every day in that lake. James or I think he's James, if it's not, I'm sorry. But the boy even buys the canoe from his uncle because, you know, they scrapped the canoe trying to pass the tunnel. Every time they will do that, they will sp sp um, scrap the paint. So he even buys the, uh, the canoe from his uncle. They pass there every single day that point after they even sleep there in the lake because they they even um, build um how do you call it a raft so they can you know stay there and sleep there and so the whole thing is this adventure of exploring the house and you have to imagine that the house is furnished and it has decoration pieces and it has plates on the table and they aren't floating they are well grounded like they are out of water you know 
So this is all uh, what is happening. And they like make an agreement with each other to not tell anyone about the house. So that will be their thing and their own secret. Um, and they pass the days exploring the divisions and the rooms and because the house is huge so each day they explore a new room they even got to um, explore the down floors uh, where they discover a pool and the water that's of the pool it's hotter than the water of the lake so and they see like dresses coming up like pieces of cloth of clothing floating in the rooms um, like they are people or something and you know they kind of develop their relationship with this adventure but you know they also agree to not ask hows and whys. So questions like why the house is there? How is this possible? How the plates are not floating? You know what I mean? So they agree that, but the boy is kind of, kind of no, is very intrigued. And he got to a point where he tries to take out some piece of decoration and see if there is glue or something that it's holding the piece to the um, table. Uh, and after that, some things began to happen uh, and they will kind of have an encounter or at least she because the boy is in another room another room um but, but then something happens and their adventure will come to an end i'm trying not to not to give in the story because i think of course with any any book the fun is to discover by yourself but this is like more a, a mystery you know so the fun is to discover on your own um, and so then the ending it's like an open ending the answers are not given to you uh, and they kind of fall apart the, the boy and the girl but then they come together so uh, it's a very fun read I have to say because I didn't know this was young adult I, I discovered it as long as I was reading um, along my reading I mean I was finding myself to wanting to have more development in the mystery in itself perhaps it's misled or mis misplaced because we, you don't have to have all the answers but i was feeling that <laughs> you know i i wanted to understand to go more deeply in the rules of that game because when they were there they was a time they heard like it was someone uh, upstairs running or screaming or something and so they weren't alone you know what i mean so that's why i was telling you they that something would happen and there we go but you know the you end up the book with an open ending you know what can i say and 
I don't know. Uh, although I, I really enjoyed it, um, I wanted... I think the story was so interesting and so, you know, well thought. Uh, a well thought idea. But I wanted to be more intricate and have more difficulty to it, you know? But, you know, for what it is, I think it's well developed. As I was saying, it's not... It, will, it won't take a toll on your understanding or your wanting to, reading it, to read it. You'll have a lot of fun with this reading and you know it's a really cool it's not horror or anything it's it's very light in that regard it tiptoes on mystery and thriller perhaps but you don't it's not heavy on that point so yeah i think you will really enjoy will enjoy it and if you are a bit of a scary cat, is that how you say it? I hope so. I think this book will be the level of horror or mystery or thriller that you can take it. So for you, I think this is a perfect book. And yeah, I'm excited to dive in on more horror books and to see if I get thrilled and get, you know, up my feet or with chills. I never had that experience, so I'm really excited about it. So let's see how it goes this Halloween. I have some things prepared and yeah. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Press the ring bell button to all so you can receive all my notifications. Leave a like, it helps a lot to the divulgation of the channel and the divulgation of the video. I say that the other way around, but who cares? Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to do or anything else. And I see you on the next one. Bye!